it was good to get out and like I said earlier conditions have been perfect so saw a couple of hours and hopefully it continues in the next couple weeks <laughs> Nothing like burning a field on a 95 degree day. It was a it was a hot one today, but I got the job done. Now I just need rain. It's starting to look a little bit more like 2011. Uh, back then, you could find a shooter on almost every single field that you went and watched. You got the blind to put in. Should be a good fall. You guys are gonna like Trey. We'll show him to you. All I know is I'm excited to just be away from the computer for a couple of hours and uh, hopefully when we get back out here and get in the blind, get set up and the deer are going to start moving and come and jump. You always got to grab a foxtail on any, any hike out in the timber. Every time I chew on a foxtail, it happens. Like, some people are like, why do you like hunting so much? Like, I can't even explain it. Just, <laughs> I do. And if he does what he's been doing on the cuttyback cameras, it's just a chip shot over his shoulder at 15 yards. Eh. I couldn't be more happier to start my 2018 season off by wrapping a tag around this five and a half year old buck I call Misfit. Just about out of light here. That's pretty much gonna wrap it up. It's all a ton of deer. The conditions definitely have deer on their feet and it's only furthered my excitement to finally get in a stand as soon as season opens tomorrow. It's always good to get the season started off, and this was my first hunt of the 2018 season. And I'm pumped. This is my first hunt of the season. And it's actually the first time that we've been out this year. This is what it's all about. I love this time of year, and uh, hopefully the action continues for all of us, you know, across the staff. And... Well, it's October 18th today, and uh, we're really thinking, we're really thinking that today can be the day. Where... It's one of those feelings you just. You can't get rid of, you can't get enough of, and that's what last night's hunt was. We're back in the public again tonight. To get into this spot I wanted to be in, we had to walk a river on the way back in here. Actually, at the river bottom, uh, I found a pretty nice shed on the way in, so hopefully the deer are moving tonight. I just, oh, I'm so happy, and it came together perfectly in here, and yeah, I couldn't be more excited. This is just one of those dreamy spots that, you know, in the next week or so, I think can be really dynamite. Hopefully, our high expectations and hopes are met. Super excited, we're gonna get them out of here, and uh, now it's everybody else's turn, so November's right around the corner. We're hunting this oak uh, tree line. It's got a bunch of scrapes, acorns. We came in here, did a hanging hunt. Excited to see what happens. Rip, rip. No, no, no. Can you see him? No. I'm definitely a believer in you know, your first couple hunts on the farm are often your best opportunities to get uh, big bucks down. Uh, Pop here, as we call him, um, he's owned and lived in this draw uh, since I've owned the farm. Just a lot of respect and appreciation for this animal. You know, I think we're in for a really good sit tonight. We had a cold front blowing yesterday. Nonetheless, it's the rut. I mean, you can be in any spot and you never know what you're going to see. Go on him. I can't tell you how excited I am for the season that we've had so far. I couldn't be happier. I found an awesome setup in here. Every single deer that I've seen the last two days has come through this spot. I really like this. This is looking awesome. Holy cow. Incredible. I cannot believe that just happened. He is down right there. We're just on the other side of that walnut tree where we've been hunting that crab's buck cold and windy and snow on the ground, so I bet we see some deer. It's just a buck of a lifetime, guys. I can't get over that G2. That's just freaking me out. Oh my gosh. Happy Veterans Day and thank you to all those who have served and are serving. We appreciate you. We're getting to that point where uh, hopefully even new bucks are traveling in here too, so not giving up hope on this place I think has potential and uh, hopefully we can call something within bow range. Yes. And it, it, it's crazy, it just played out to perfection last night with this deer. Pretty frigid morning for middle of November, and so I'm just uh, having fun sitting out in the woods, and I know there's gonna be mature bucks in the area. Well, that's how you hope they all work out. We're gonna stick after them. There's still half of November to go, and uh, there's still some good hunting to be had. All right, we're Dylan and I 
finally got set up. Um, hopefully, uh, here too long, the deer start moving and maybe we can get a shot at one of these bucks. Right. <laughs> That's insane, dude. That was insane. I'm in here after a little after work hunt. Uh, you definitely can't beat. You know, I wouldn't be able to go hunting tonight if it wasn't right behind the house because I wouldn't be able to get there in time. So it all can change on a dime. So hopefully that happens tonight. You got to drag him out of here. Jerry and I have slipped into this little spot on the project farm. There's a lot of good mature bucks on this farm. Um, I'm not going to be picky. The first mature buck I can get a shot at, I'm going to go ahead and take. Man. It's a super special hunt. The way it, the way it happened was awesome, and I, I couldn't be happier with him. Just gonna sit back and enjoy the night. You know, you can definitely feel that that front's gonna be coming through overnight, and it's gonna be a welcome change because it's been such a warm late season. Just couldn't be any more thankful, and I'm very happy to say that my 2018 season is over, and I can't wait till next year. We just got set up. It's uh, a little after 2:30, and uh, feels good. Uh, maybe we can put one of these mature bucks on the ground. And man, he's a he's a stud. Um, it's an awesome way to end my 2018 season. I can't wait for next season. A much-awaited hunt is finally here. My grandfather and I are uh, down at my farm in Van Buren County. I'm a pretty passionate uh, hunter and have been for many years, and I really uh, owe that to my grandfather here. Happy New Year's, everybody. Cooper and I are still down at the farm here after Curly. Well, this is the buck I call Curly and uh, he was quite the nemesis this year. I couldn't be happier and uh, already looking forward to shed season and next year. So. Well, it's January 9th, uh, bottom of the ninth here for us. We have a major cold front that came in. We at least have it down to 26 degrees right now. Yep. An exceptional way to cap off the 2018, 2019 season. And I couldn't be more happy for you. And that was one heck of a shot. You almost killed him last year. That's a perfect example of how fast your season can change. See him. Here he comes. He's, he's down right there. Dude, that is awesome. Every hunter gets to define his own trophy, and that's my definition of this one. That is a fact. These, these ones that are the most rewarding are the ones that are hard earned, and this is definitely a hard earned buck. And remember to always dream big. tell from that highlight segment, the 2018 season was one of the best that we've ever had here at Midwest Whitetail. We're excited to see what 2019 brings and also a lot of the hunts that you saw uh, on either the regional series or the Midwest Whitetail main show this past season will be on the Chasing November series that we produced in August. So make sure you check back again on the 1st of August for, for Chasing November. Now we're going to go to the ATA show. We had our cameras there uh, trying to catch up on some of the new products for 2019. Hey guys, Bryant at America's Best Bowstrings here. We're at the ATA Show 2019 in Louisville, um, having a great show. Uh, what I want to do is I want to talk about our product here just a little bit, uh, but specifically I want to talk about our Platinum Series. Uh, this is our high performance model. We're really, uh, it's coming on strong as one of the most popular uh, strings in our lineup. Um, it's made out of a 452X material. Uh, the way that we build this, this is exclusive, it's in-house, it's only, only we're doing this uh, treatment with these processes. Um, very fast, high-performance string. 
any of the guys out there that have the, the high performance flagship bows, this is your bowstring. This is a custom bowstring that's going to be built specifically for those. Um, and it's not just with the high flagship models. Any bow can have a platinum series string. It's going to improve the performance, speed. You're not going to see peep twist. You're not going to have serving separation. You're not going to have any creep on there. You're going to keep your poundage. Keep your bow in tune. It's very important to have that bow in tune. We do offer other models uh, or other series from our premium. New for this year, we have the Pursuit. And then also we have a sister company as bowstrings.com. That is our Huntline bowstring. So we have a bowstring for everybody. So be sure to check us out at americasbestbowstrings.com. We'll see you then. Hi, this is Dan Schultz with Cuddy Back here today to talk about our Cuddy Link system. So we sell the, uh, the system in two versions. It's a networking camera system. So the benefit is it allows us to take 16 cameras, put them on one network. So whether a user wants to come out and collect one SD card with all the images from all those cameras, or whether he wants to have those images emailed over to him uh, or texted, he can do that as well. But the benefit is he's not going in and going in and messing up his hunting area, uh, disturbing the deer, spending the gas money and the time to do that. So cuts down on the effort and gives them more, more information on a timely manner. Thank you. My name is David Frisbee. I'm with Drake Non-Typical. We're here at the ATA Show 2019. Want to show off our new Stand Series jacket. Uh, it's obviously real tree edge. We also offer it in the uh, new timber pattern. If you look on the back, it's got a harness pass through loop. Uh, it's padding for you know when you're sitting in the, in the stand and leaned up against the tree, kind of give you some extra comfort. Look on the front, we've got extra pockets here, uh, magnet pockets, put your range finder or a grunt tube or whatever in there and get a nice quiet uh, closure on it. Unzip the jacket, you can wear this, put your arms through here and um, kind of, if you're walking in and out of the blind or the stand and you don't want to uh, have your jacket on, kind of hot, sweat, you can pull it off and you still have it back there with all your gear in it. Almost acts like a backpack, a real minimalist design so it'll be available next year and the, uh, uh, like I said, the, the edge and the new timber pattern. Check us out at drakenontypical.com or uh, Midwest Whitetail, is, uh, you can find a link there as well. Hey everybody, welcome to Louisville, Kentucky. We're here at the 2019 ATA Trade Show. My name's Evan Williams. I want to talk to you guys about the new 2019 aluminum series called the Helixes. We have two different models this year. The short axle axle Helix is a 30 and a half inch axle axle six inch brace height shooting 342 feet per second now for the longer draw guys or the guys that like a longer axle axle string angle we have a 34 inch ultra model with a six and three quarter inch brace height shooting 334 feet per second available in the real tree edge camo we have a new cam new limb system a new patent pending proprietary rubber blend on all of our dampening materials so it's a super quiet vibration-free aluminum series bows. Get to your local Hoy dealer and check them out. Hi guys, want to talk to you guys also about the new Fuse line. Complete redesign on both the sights and our line of quivers. Um, we have the new Flywheel series, which is our slider series. It's available in a single pin, three pin or five pin options. Much more compact. It's a CNC machined aluminum sight. Um, the pins are a 19,000th option. The single pin is a green. The three and the five both stagger green, red, yellow options. Um, comes with second and third axis adjustability and a much more compact design. On the fixed pin side, we have a micro adjustable Vetrix XT available in a three or a five pin design. Check them out at your local fuse dealer. The all new Alpha Light series quivers are available in two models this year. So you have the Alpha Light XL, which is an 18 inch hood to gripper design. It's a five arrow available in all of our camo options, including the Realtree Edge. And we also have the standard Alpha Light, which is a shorter 10 inch configuration. Super adjustable in a quick disconnect model. One's on one. 360 carbon rod so you have full 360 adjustment both around as well as vertically to make it fit the way you want to check them out your local fuse dealer hey guys i'm isaac getzinger with grizzly coolers and we're at the 2019 ata show here in louisville 
and today I wanted to highlight our newest addition to the Drifter line of soft side coolers that we have. This is called the 12 Plus. This is going to be coming out later this spring and uh, it's basically the little brother to our current Drifter 20. It's got the flip top style lid, easy to use zipper and heavy duty liner inside. And this cooler is loaded with features. It's got pockets, both of our drinkware pockets on either side, zippered pocket on the back, our gear wing across the top, and then our uh, flip open pocket on the front side of this cooler with an added bottle opener this year. This is gonna retail at price point $99.99. So check us out on grizzlycoolers.com or check us out on Facebook too, as well as Instagram. Hey guys, we're here at the 2019 ATA show. Uh, we're here at the Hui Man booth and just wanted to run over a couple of the new products we got. Um, we're, again, we're still supporting the, the Hui Man 40 volt saw. We got a full line of accessories with spare batteries, spare chains and spare bars. Um, you can get some of your off season work done, trimming stands or hinge cutting, whatever it is. And then moving into the new products, we got a new line of printers. We got a bypass and a ratchet printer. Um, very handy keeping your turkey vest as you start turkey hunting this spring. And we also have the new Hui Man food plot fence. Um, it's basically a deer exclosure system, keeps deer out of your food plot, keeps the browse pressure off of your food plot until you're ready to hunt. Uh, it's a very cool tool. Check us out at HuiMan.com. Another new exciting product we have under the bog line is the Death Grip, uh, available in aluminum and carbon fiber. And what we have is a patented clamping system. Uh, it's a complete tripod system and both walls clamp in. Uh, it's a pretty awesome product, rifle, shotgun, muzzle loader, crossbow, anything, uh, anything you can put in it. So check us out at ballgear.com. How's it going everybody? 2019 ATA show, you're over here at the Nikon booth. This year we got a few things to bring you, something new, specifically for our rangefinder lineup. We're gonna complete the whole lineup this year. We've got the new Pro Staff 1000, and the ProSaf 1000i. These are gonna be our benchmark series uh, range finders. The 1000, 1000i have most of the same key features. You've got a thousand yard range of capacity, 600 on a tree, 500 on a deer for a good reflective target there. You got the ID technology in the 1000i. These are uh, multi-layer coated lenses with the five year warranty. Price-wise, the 1000i is $199.95, the 1000s $169.95. So this gets you right into that market with the key features. Right here in the middle of our whole lineup this year, we got the Monarch 2000, 2000 yard range finder. It's got the OLED screen. So it's got the red screen that you're also getting out of our Monarch 3000 stabilized. This has got a lot of the same features in here as well without the stabilization, but you're looking at $299.95. You've got a four second ranging time with a single click. And if you push and hold, you'll have an eight second continuous scan. If you've got a moving target that you're trying to range, you've got eight seconds that you can be checking that out. These will all be available. These are brand new for ATA this year. Thanks for coming by. Hey guys, 2019 ATA show. We're here at the Spot Hog booth with Josh. Uh, he's got the Keaton release, gonna share a few things. This is a release I use. Um, I used to think a release is just a release, but this is, by far the best one I've ever shot. I've shot for the last two years, and um, Josh gonna highlight a couple things. Yeah, so some of the cool features of our Keaton release is that because we're using a handle and a wrist strap setup, essentially we're able to combine two muscle groups rather than one muscle group or the other. So with a wrist strap, you're pulling with just one muscle group. With your hand, you're pulling with a completely different muscle group, but when you can get the strap set just right, so I have 50% of the weight of my wrist, 50% of the weight of my fingers, I can engage both muscle groups, making it easier to draw back my bow, hold back my bow, or in general, just be able to draw more pounds if, if need be as well. Like for instance, my daughter, uh, you have to pull 50 pounds in, in Oregon to hunt elk, and she can only pull 42 with a standard uh, wise guy release. Well, with this Keaton release, she's able to pull 53 pounds. So it actually got her a whole extra year of hunting that she didn't actually have capable uh, uh, a, a chance to do previously. Yeah, and that's, he nailed it. That's the biggest thing I like about it. I'm just so much more comfortable at full draw, being able to hold more weight hold it longer just because of the style of this release. So uh, check it out, Keaton Release by Spot Hog. Hi, I'm Zach with Wasp Archery. Just want to introduce our new broadhead for 2019. We partnered up with Havilon, the sharpest knives in the industry, and all, came up with the ultimate broadhead. Um, upgraded the aluminum to a aerospace aluminum. They're sharp blades, stainless steel tip, things unbeatable. Flies like a dart, 
we're pretty excited about it. Check it out at wasparchery.com. My name is Frank Archie from Lone Wolf Portable Tree Stands. Today we're going to talk about the Alpha Hang-On. Um, Alpha Hang-On comes in at 14 pounds. This is one of our best-selling products. Um, the thing about the Alpha is you have what's called the offset bracket on the back part of the post. It only takes two points of contact in order for that for it to be level and straight in your tree, whether it's left or right. It has three different leveling for your actual platform. It also has a leveling for your seat as well, which is right here that goes up and down. So you can come to LoneWolf.com or you can go to your local dealer and find a Lone Wolf tree stand near you. Hey, it's Justin Hood with Redneck Blinds. We're over here at the 2019 ATA here in Louisville. And I'm going to go over a few things that we're doing this year that's a little different than the previous two years. Um, this year we're actually doing a extension platform so you can actually retrofit it to your existing, uh, existing platform. So that gives you an extra two feet. Uh, it allows you to take the kids or uh, disabled hunters or elderly, be able to easily get in there, give them a lot more room and safety, be able to get in and out of the blind. Uh, we also have right here um, some ladder stabilizers. So whenever you're going up and down, you're not going to have that slack anymore. It's going to be real quiet. It's going to be real stable. Uh, we include a, a rope so you can pull up your stuff now. So a lot of little bitty add-ons and features, but uh, it kind of goes a long ways. So uh, one of the, the great features that we have for 19 and all of our fiberglass blinds going forward is our built-in lights. So you have high and then you have actually a low setting right there and we, we opted to do the green uh, that way it's really uh, minimalistic when you're out there in the field um, so that's another little great little feature we have in there you have the same interior uh, acoustical foam the same padding on the floor so for more information on these great products please check out redneckblinds.com and i hope you guys have good luck the rest of the year well that's it for the 2018 season of midwest whitetail we appreciate you joining us but now we're going to take about a month off. We always do that every year, take a little break between the main series and the off-season series. So that'll start up again sometime around the middle to the end of February. And during that off-season, we really focus on the topics that we can't cover very well during the season because we've got so much hunting going on. So we'll, we'll look more at shooting, bow setups, uh, scouting tips, a lot of shed antler hunting. Uh, we'll spend time talking about deer behavior, just some really interesting topics that hopefully uh, any whitetail hunter can gain at least some entertainment value from and hopefully a little bit of uh, information that you can use to make your next season better. Well, I appreciate you joining us for the whole 2018 season. We'll see you right back here again in a month for the next episode of Midwest Whitetail. And remember to always dream big.